Assumptions are helpful. Our brain makes assumptions whenever we see things. The truth is, we don't actually see the entire world. We see parts of the world, and then our brain fills in the parts that we can't see, or we don't see. Which is why optical illusions exist. Our brain is trying to use what it knows and what is consistent with the world that we experience, and it's trying to therefore create something that is consistent with what we know. But it fails. It fails to do so. Not only for vision, but assumptions as well. At the same time, they're very useful for judging people. Is this kind? No, it isn't. But the thing is, to tell someone to not judge a book by its cover is like telling a child there's a room down the hall that says secret room do not open and telling that child to not open it they're going to do it because you told them not to do it or they're going to do it just because well they were going to do it anyway there's no stopping it you can't stop making assumptions consciously or unconsciously well, I mean, you can stop it consciously. I think. Maybe. But you can't stop it unconsciously. But they are still useful. Heuristics are useful. And there, there's a reason why we still use them today. Because they're very easy ways for us to determine danger. And sometimes they may be also useful if you find yourself in a situation that's dangerous. But other times they are detrimental when we base a person solely on what we assume about them because we don't have that much information about them. So therefore, we should learn more about the person. Learn more about them. And, you, and we will undoubtedly assume things about them the more we learn about them but it's better than assuming things about that person and not learning about them it's better to be proactive another thing is assuming continuity something I've noticed within myself is that I assume that someone won't change after like I don't know it's not really leaving them, but like after disconnecting with them. So for example, I met up I met up with a friend today who I haven't seen in one to two years. And he changed. It wasn't anything drastic, but he definitely changed. And he thought I also changed. For me, he thought I changed for the better, which I'm thankful, and thank them for the compliment. But it's sort of how we bottle people up in our minds and then assume that they won't change, like they'll be static. And it's like when high school reunion hits, and then you see people who have drastically changed. People assume that the world is stagnant, or the people are stagnant. That isn't how the world works. So do we assume or not? I think that we should assume when it fits. I think your conscious will tell you when not to assume. I think you will know. I think you know that it you shouldn't assume something about someone the first time you meet them. You don't know them. And sometimes I do that, I assume. First time I meet someone. Actually I did the I did so today. But I can change that. Socrates was once called the wisest man in Greece by the Delphi Oracle. 
and I'm saying this because there's going to be a relation. And he credited this, credited this to his daemon. Not his demon, his daemon. Sort of the opposite of, of a demon. This was his conscience that told him not to do certain things and not to say certain things. And he followed them. And well, he's now rena renowned as the wisest man in Western civilization. So, what would happen if you listen to your conscience? 